Hi everyone, Jana here from scrapnews.com. We have two videos that I made before about eye colorama and we talked about the tone and the preset and all uh, the things that we can do with it. Today I want to talk about style. And this picture, for example, also I want to mention that I get from my Dropbox. So with iColorama, you are not tied just to work with the pictures you have on your iPhone, your iPad, or on your iCloud. You can work with any picture as long as you have Dropbox or any other service that transfer and your picture to your device. So I grabbed this stock picture from um, Dropbox, and I want to show you all the categories here that we have when we go to style. So we have first sketch, and it's to create sketched pictures. And every time in a colorama, you are not just tied to one effect. So when we have sketch, then we have many presets that we can change that sketch picture. So you can see there's some crazy ones. It's all going to depend on your pictures and how they are. Really love that one. Also, what you can do, you can brush a mask. So, for example, if I don't want the effect on just the hummingbird, I can uh, brush him or I can invert. It's pretty much like layer masks in Photoshop. So, we can go back steps again. So that was sketch. And then we have lighten. And again, we have some presets. It has some kind of glows. And you can choose what you want and what you don't want. Again, in iColorama, you can stack effects. And if I just go back here, for example, I like this effect. So I'm just going to click apply. So once I click apply, that step is on my kind of layer. It's not a real layer, but it stacks and you can go back to it and you can play with it. But every time you create a new effect and you apply, it's going to be on top of the previous effect. Okay, so we saw lighten. Now let's go to flow. Again, you have presets that you can do. And here you have shadows, highlights. You can work with that. Simplify. Again, it's kind of a kind of a painted effect. Kind of like those. Really love this one. So I'm going to say apply. So now here I have three. What you can do also, I can go ahead with the second one and I can save that one. And I can save the last one just if I want. If I want to continue to play and I want to save that, then I can do that. Tensor, so it's very, very um, grungy styles. I think this would be nice if you want to do two copies of this. For example, you do a sketch one and you do tensor, you save both, and you can use this as a grunge background for the picture. That would be very cool. But again, with tensor, you can go, um, you can go again to brush mask, and you can mask, you know, him out of it, okay? So we have auto, and it's still picking up the third one. So, let me just remove this. So, out of, we have some presets. And again, it's very grungy. It has a lot of presets. has 24 presets. So, some of them have a lot of presets. So, you can... You have infinite possibilities. Okay? And you have out of two. And... These are kind of like brushes um, that then you can work with the blending modes and you can change the blending modes. Okay. 
this is overlay we had a mask before so damn let me see see here all kinds of brushes we have this one is nice it's kind of a watercolor this one has 51 presets so really take your time with it uh, choosing something that this one gives you is the option of brushes so you can go ahead and work with brushes and with iColorama you can actually install more AB, ABR files um, if you have space on your iPad for that and you can use more brushes with it so let me just click out of this So you see that changes here a little bit what it does and it modifies a little bit depending on the brushes that you use. So you can go to single brushes. Okay. And Painterly has also some nice presets. Um, you know what? Let me just delete. I want to erase this mask so you can see the effect on the whole thing. So I'm going to erase that and we go back to normal. So this is the other presets that it has. Okay, and this one has 12 effects and we have edges which is kind of what we do in Photoshop when we want to stack and the edges get more um, emphasized then you can go ahead after you put the edges and change the plane modes and then this one works better with multiply, multiply, and then you can see here that some of them have really strong edges, and this one has 19 um, presets. Okay, triangle. It makes your crazy. It makes your picture crazy with a bunch of triangle forms. Water. It's kind of kind of like a watercolor it has 16 presets but what it changes really is just it give um, the picture some textures watercolor texture paper and this is more watercolor paint and it has many effects of watercolor okay then we have flat, and you have all these effects. And threshold, um, we use this a lot also in um, Photoshop. Um, it creates, you know, basically opposites, and it has seven presets. Stamp, then basically you choose all this pattern paper or pattern overlays. For example this one and then you change your blend mode um, if you want to use of that let me just go back here one uh, let me just this one and then you can change the opacity and you see here, it gives just more um, texture. You see that has 327 overlays that you can use. So 
There is so many possibilities with this app, it's really endless. Halftone and Hatch. Okay, so that is part three of iColorama app. And uh, this is the style presets here. And I will come back and eventually we're going to do all the other ones which are effect adjust brush form and texture. Thank you.